Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So, um, we are officially on Puppy Watch. Um, not sure if she's going to have him tonight or not, but I did want to be prepared. I did, I moved her whelping box to my living room, which um, I just did not, for whatever reason, feel comfortable with her being in my closet because every other time I've had puppies, it was either summertime or Savannah um, was being homeschooled. And so, um, or I was with Alex. And so I always had somebody else on hand to watch the puppies and the mother while I do things. And I don't have that right now because Savannah is in school. And, um, and so it's just not, um, it's not right for me to, you know, be asking her to stay up and watch puppies or listen for puppies. Cause it's whenever we do this, um, for the first week you have to be, you have to wake up to every sound of a puppy. You know what I mean? Like, and it's, so it's through the night. You just, you, you hear a puppy squeal. You have to jump up really quick, run in and make sure that nobody's getting laid on. And so it's just me, um, you know, Alex isn't here. And like I said, I can't ask Savannah to do that. She needs to be sleeping for school, um, needs to be studying, things like that. You know, it's high school now. Those, those grades really matter. And so, um, you know, high school is hard enough with all of the social stuff going on. I don't want to add more pressure onto her asking her to do this. And so I am going to be the one that is, um, you know, taking that burden on myself, which is my job, not even a burden. I mean, it kind of is the first week waking up, but I've been sleeping on the couch anyway. I'm ready. So I've got her here. I feel much more comfortable about this because I can, um, what I'm going to do is, um, whenever I take the dogs out, they're in the, they're in the back. So I'm going to take them, leash them up and I'll walk them through the back door. That way, um, they're not stressing her out. And everything is copacetic. So I've got her little heat lamp here. Um, I've got, I hope you can't hear it because I don't want to get demonetized, but I do have a radio on in the dog room to kind of keep the noises down for them because I don't want them, um, you know, hearing the sounds of the <clears throat> puppies and whining and barking and freaking out, things like that. And um, And I just want to be able to hear the puppies and immediately kind of look over and this will just really allow me to be the hands-on kind of mama that I like to be. And it also um, gives Blondie cause she's been super clingy, like unbelievably clingy. And so everywhere I go, she wants to come with me and I don't feel that she would even be happy in my closet with me in my bed. You know what I mean? It just, I don't think she would even, um, be comfortable with that at all. And so with me being right here, I do think that she'll be comfortable with that. Um, she knows where she is. She knows where I am. I can sit here and I can watch my, um, baking show. And I really just feel a whole lot more comfortable about this situation. So like I said, um, <clears throat> she's not there yet. I have tempt her today. Tempt means I took her temperature and she is in the 98 degree range, which typically means that you're going to have labor within 24 hours of a temperature of 98 degrees. She has maintained that throughout the day. She started off at 98.4. Now she's at 98.6. That's a very good indication. On top of that, um, her pupils have been dilated and she's been doing um, quite a bit of panting despite the fact that it's cold here. So... Those are all good indications. She was also sleeping all day, like super heavy, like snoring, which is a good thing. I do want her to sleep. Very important that they rest. So very excited. I'm hoping that tonight is the night. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I also got word about cashmere. Very good news. Um, she has a, a stomach um, bacteria infection. So um, an overabundance of the bad bacteria. Um, and she had, um, a low vitamin B12 count, which the vet believes is associated with the fact that she had a bacterial infection in the gut. 
So we've got her on a B12 supplement and in, um, a stomach biotic that kills the bad and keeps the good, which I think is awesome that I had already started her on kefir. She hasn't thrown up now for, gosh, I want to say two days in a row. She had been throwing up every day and now she's um, dwindling to only like um, every other day. And so far now she's actually had either two or three days now that she hasn't thrown up. Very good news. I did ask him if he felt that um, that she shouldn't be bred. He said, no. He said, it's not a big deal. He said, she's obviously fine. She's been very happy. And he said, it's not a big deal. We'll just knock it out. Um, and so very excited about that. So she still hasn't been bred yet because she's not um, ready. But, um, but anyway, but we got the go ahead on that. I have had some people ask, you know, if they thought that we shouldn't because it was stressful for her, but the reality is she's fine. As you guys saw, she's had lots of energy. She's been very energetic. That's the same thing. Very happy, very everything. So she hasn't lost any weight. In fact, uh, recently since she, um, since she has only been uh, throwing up uh, every other day, she's actually, um, you know, looking almost a little bit chunky. Um, so anyway, so I personally think, um, and the vet thinks that she's just fine, perfectly fine, and that it's not worth the risk to her uterus, um, especially considering that it was a split heat. She already went through one, so um, going skipping another one would be literally like like skipping two heats in a row because of the hormones on her. So that is probably going to be more stressful than just um, go ahead and, and letting her breed and just it's, it's literally very, um, very minute and minor. It probably would have corrected on its own over the long term. You good girl. So anyway, um, I'm very excited about my whelping box thing here. I've got, um, the tarp down. I've got hay underneath that or on top of that. And then I have a fitted sheet that I bought that is, um, on top of that and is actually tucked up there. Um, all the way around. So really liking this setup a lot more than what I um, originally did because when they're when the puppies are very young, they um, really do better from not having a lot of the dust from the hay and um, they can kind of get tucked up underneath it. I just feel like this is super easy. I got this for like the sheet for like four or five bucks from Walmart. I got a whole bunch of them, and so I'll just, um, you know, as they get funky, I'll take one out, put another one in until the puppies are big enough that they don't need it anymore, and then the hay comes in handy because then they are, um, then they, it, it helps to kind of keep things clean. So anyway, very, 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 very excited about this. Um, everything is looking really good, and um you know, very excited about cashmere. It's a, it's, it's a really good day for me. I'm very happy. So, um, it's a lot for me to be able to relax about where I can actually sleep soundly on my little bed. And, um, hopefully we will be welcoming puppies very soon and I'll get to take a first look at Blondie's first litter. That'll be my, um, second generation of puppies and um, they are Sangue Magnifica Achilles, which is with Valencia um, Cani Corso. They are, he's the father, so very excited about having that level of quality in my program. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super duper 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 excited. And um, we've got a father who's super excited over here too, or maybe he just wants to go to the bathroom. Who knows right now? Bring in the preacher, preacher. So anyway, um, so I'm going to get back to watching my baking show. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I did take a nap. That's why my bedding is not put up. Typically I put it up every morning, but um, I did take a nap with Blondie today to make sure that I was well rested and ready to stay up with her um, if she does indeed start having puppies tonight, which is um, which is definitely possible. I will say she's not panting anymore, but that doesn't really mean anything. Um, so anyway, so there's no telling. She may not have them tonight. She may have them in the morning. Um, she may have them tomorrow, but all the signs are there for her to be having them within the next 24 hours. So 
just wanted to give you guys a heads up on on the situation and I uh, wanted to keep you guys updated so if you see me opening up a live stream um, then you know it's puppy time and also um, keep in mind that when we do the live stream it's going to be in four hour increments because YouTube only saves four hours of live streams and then whatever is after or longer than the four hours at the beginning gets cut out so I'm going to do four hour increments and then we'll reconnect so you'll need to keep an eye out for that as well okay Hope you guys are having a great night, TGIF, and I'll talk at you later. Bye!